Hello, everybody. Princess the Bear here. We're back. Today we are going to the Universal's Endless Summer Resort Surfside Inn and Suites, our standard room. Yes. It is a uh, Spartan looking from the outside. Now, on the inside, it's a slightly better theme. It feels surfy from the curtains, the wall, the art, even the paint scheme. It feels sort of light on storage. I love the hardwood floors for the carpet. Yeah, it's also awesome. This curtain thingy, I mean, I can deal. It's not bad. It's just. Weird. Yeah, it, it feels like something you do when like, you're like in college and can't afford a real dresser. It's like, oh, I'm just going to put a curtain here. But I like the little, little thing. It's very like beachside boat type deal. That little dresser between the beds and the clock, that thing is like a no-go. Especially if you put leaves up on your nightstand, it's just a no So we got the most important thing, we got outlets. Looks like we have a Thunderbolt or USB-C, which is odd in outdoor room. A switch for the lights. I would say it's an adequate number of plugs. I'd like a couple more, but that's all we bring in circuit protector when we travel. Mini fridge is mini. Drawers. Adequate. Down here, princess. What's still in storage? Nope. No, just a plain. Is this supposed to be like your desk chair? I guess. That is not conducive to working. <laughs> I'm not. Little wicker basket chair with a lamp. Little beachy reading nook sort of style thing. Theming is on point. Very. Plenty of underbed storage. That's blocked off and clean. I like the old school beach trunk. That's a nice touch. Can you open it? Nope, it is just for looks. So when you stay here and you put your stuff down, there's gonna be a table full of stuff. Because you don't have any room to store anything anywhere. Usual amenities, the iron, iron board, Plug a drag. Adequate size safe. I know I'm trying to kill your ears here. And there's Bear. A few number of towels. It was nice down at the desk from the princess hiding over there in the corner. Uh, you, have to, you have to text them or call them for towels. They're not doing room service during these uh, times of global pee. Bathroom. It's a basic like motel bathroom. Nice size toilet, shower, amenities, drying rack. What looks like a brand new out of the plastic shower curtain, and I'm okay with that. All in all, I am quite impressed with this room. It is a simple white room, but they themed it enough to where it feels on theme, wouldn't you say, Princess? I would agree. I think this is a beautiful room, and I don't regret the amount of money we spent to uh, stay here. Hmm. And I will say, there's just one more thing to do. Oh yes, this is the most important thing of all the things. All the things. The bed test. There's bed test. Bed test. Uh, I give it a three out of five claws. It's got a nice rebound, but 
there's a bottom in there and I definitely hit it. Question people is do you trust a hotel ice bucket during the times of a uh, global pee? Not when I found a handprint on the window. But I don't know about that. I need the hand sanitizer. That's kind of nice looking. It looks nice. Yes. Moisturize. Eat, sleep, surf. Uh, TV check? Is the voice activated? Turn the TV on. On. Power. You don't work too well, do you? Why is there a voice thing on here if it doesn't do anything? Power button works though. What is this for? It's gonna bother me. Find the Disney Channel. Find the Disney Channel. Ah, I'm not surprised. Find Cartoon Network. Well, it's not a complete fail. This part always feels, especially now, like you're walking down like a NASA launch hallway because you know you put on your mask as soon as you leave your room and you're trying to socially distance in a hallway which isn't easy luckily it's almost always empty the elevators are just around it's just a matter of time of day you don't want to go when it's busy but you do have one party per elevator per elevator so like they actually lock it out like you have to scan your key card to go upstairs and it won't accept another swipe as soon as it goes to the floor it goes right back down to whatever the next button is Hand sanitizer by every interesting elevator, which is good. I love the roof and the design of this place. It was so pretty. My little handy key because I don't want to touch buttons anymore. The key is if you're going to get up early, go to the parks, get up early, early because like the line for the elevator going one way or the other can get very long, especially one party. And the elevator is not that big either, so yeah. you really don't want to put more than one party. I mean, even if you're it. like a, a party of four, I mean, at that point, the elevator is basically full unless you put like a fifth person in the middle. It, there's really not room to stuff a whole bunch of people in the elevator. They are fairly fast. The theming is really good at this hotel. It felt very beachy. Even the shampoo and conditioners were beachy. Right. It's very, it looks very simple when you initially look at it, but it just, it's very open. But it goes, you know, a long way towards selling that whole theming. It's like you don't really feel like constrained like you do in a normal hotel. The lobby's wide open, the restaurant's wide open, the pool area is wide open. And it does look like the wood carvings look like a wave crashing and that other side with the tables check-in desk it looks like another giant wave of wood it's pretty cool they watch you return the cart so they do sanitize them after each use oftentimes when i come down the, the food comes from behind the desk and i'm taking from me so we are we're good on that the time is in the of the parks you have these reminders of the pandemic everywhere so you can like not miss them and then the usual you know hotel store merch and they even have their own hotel merch yeah. small shelf at the back on the computer and you have the pool which we didn't get to go to because it was pouring down rain basically the entire time that we were there but it looked pretty it's weird because you have all these skating areas you'd normally see people not now. not 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 right now nope. nobody's hanging out 
you basically go hide out in your room so you can take your mask off. Like nobody wants to sit in these areas unless you're eating or drinking, like having the whole time. You basically feel like you're space. Which is fine. I'm okay with that. Yeah. It's the safe way. Not a problem with it. It's just these aren't the, like the the bastions of hangout they probably normally be. Yeah, that's true. So they definitely have a lot of CD. Like it, it's very made to lounge, you know, these like sort of like triangle shaped chairs in a lobby. On the other side of the center side sign, there's like chairs and a whole lounge section for like the Starbucks. And you can just sort of sit and chill. They have like uh, charging ports for your devices where you can just sit in like that open area, but it's a shame you don't use it. You know, you just the one person. You guys want to see more of this more hotel reviews you know the comments is always going to be a place to let us know and hit that notification bell if you want to get notified of other videos like this we have coming up and we have new videos five days a week monday tuesday wednesday thursday saturday we will see you soon so to subscribe